Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dangin. On today's episode, we're gonna go over some new projectors that were just announced by BenQ at CES. Stick around. Thanks for joining me here at The Dangin. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe below. Today we're gonna to go over a few new projectors that were just announced for CES by Ben Q. The first projector is the HT4550i. The second projector is the HT2060. And the third is the GP500. These are upgraded projectors for some of their current lineup and I wanted to go through this list with you guys today so you could have a better understanding of what's coming down the line from BenQ. The next projector that BenQ is announcing at CES is the HT4550i. This is a projector that looks like it's going to succeed the 3550i. Um, this projector looks to be a four LED unit. So they are shifting over to the that four LED light source. I love that light source. It's gonna last a super long time. If you're new to projectors, it's super bright. It still has that great 100% DCI P3 cinematic color. Um, the size of this projector seems to be um, much more compact. So I think this is going to be a really nice unit to succeed the previous 3550. Uh, it comes in a black matte finish. Looks really nice. It also has um, installation features that I totally support from BenQ. I'm so glad they finally decided to incorporate vertical and horizontal lens shift into a lot of their machines. This one is, uh, is going to include that. Um, it also has this filmmaker mode, which allows for the projector to display content that the filmmaker intended. We'll see if I can get my hands on it, how that turns out. Um, looking at the images of this projector, it is a true 4K UHD projector with 8.3 million pixel resolution and a certified Android TV device. Uh, it has cinematic color, like I mentioned before, HDR Pro technology with HDR10 HLG compatibility. So it has that latest HDR that you're going to love. I'm taking a look at the uh, images of the back of the projector now. Um, from what I can tell, the unit has the SPDIF port on the left, the audio out, Three, through the 3.5 millimeter um, audio jack. It has a media reader USB port, two HDMI ports supporting HDCP 2.2. Uh, I don't believe those will be uh, ports that are, I don't believe those ports are HDMI 2.1. They are probably the HDMI 2.0B, same as that BenQ gaming projector, the X3000i. Um, this is good to see. What I, what I am making from this projector is that it is a more compact X3000i, and I think that's exactly what BenQ needed to do, along with including lens shift. Now, the only thing I don't know, and I don't want to speculate, is if it has that low input lag. I am hoping it has that. Um, it seems to have all of the other features, including a LAN port. So this is a very promising projector. I really hope I can get my hands on one. Right now, um, using the X3000i is a bit of a chore, chore whenever I break it out because the uh, machine doesn't allow for lens shift. So there's a lot of adjustment that has to take place manually. Um, with things to prop it up and angle it. So this looks really promising. Let's go on to the next one that they've announced. Um, this is the HT2060. Seems like this is another four LED projector. The 2060 is a 1080p unit, however. So unlike the 4550i, this is a um, 1080p projector with 2300 ANSI lumens, 
98% um, Rec. 709 cinematic color, 4K compatible as far as the signal goes, which is cool. It has HDR10, HLG, uh, and you can also set it up and adjust it with vertical lens shift and 2D key zoning. So it doesn't have vertical and horizontal, it doesn't sound like it has vertical. Um, and then you can do a 100 inch image from 8.2 feet away, so that's awesome. Um, it also has the SPDIF port and 5.1 channel audio out, just like the other projectors that I just went over. Taking a look at the back of this projector, slightly different, um, but, but very much um, a BenQ product. This projector seems to have an audio in port, which is very nice, an audio out port, an RS232 uh, port, it has a 2.5 amp service USB. It has two HDMI HDCP 2.2 ports on the back, and then it has the SPDIF. So some of the things that were missing, like I said that on the previous one, it has um, no ethernet um, and a few less features uh, without that uh, horizontal lens shift, just vertical. Either way, looks really nice. Probably gonna be a nice budget projector for those looking to get that 1080p um, gaming and casual use projector. The final projector that BenQ is set to announce is the GP500. The GP500 is a four LED smart home projector built for the tech savvy family. This sounds cool. Um, it is a true 4K HDR, 90% um, DCI-P3 cinematic color projector with Android TV. It has 360 degree sound. So this has got something that's got sound built right in um, to the projector. It has easy installation with autofocus, 2D keystone, screen fit, and object avoidance. I don't th see anything that labels it with um, horizontal or vertical lens shift. However, uh, that's not too big of a deal. If you're looking for a budget four LED projector that you just want to set on like your table in front of you, uh, bring your family around and have a movie night. This sounds like this is an awesome projector to do that. It also has object avoidance, which is really nice. So like if you're really not planning on setting up for a movie night and you want to do an impromptu movie night, you can set this on your shelf. Um, it'll kind of avoid different obstructions and display that image right on the screen. And then with that 360 sound field, it sounds like this is going to be one of those projectors that really allows you to... Uh, enjoy your your projector experience wherever you take it wherever you have it set up that 360 degree sound is something awesome I hope to get my hands on this also because I'd really like to test it out um, especially in different areas uh, of my house here at the Dangen because it has that built-in sound it has that 4k resolution a lot of the stuff that I've taken around before that's been kind of quote-unquote portable or easier to use wirelessly um, doesn't have all those nice sound features and 4K features, so this is kind of cool. Um, really, that's what I wanted to announce today. I love BenQ's stuff. I'm hoping to get my hands on a few of these things. We'll give it a, a, a go. I think it's great that BenQ is expanding upon a lot of their current projector lines and um, moving it forward with whether it's 4K or LED technology, moving away from bulbs is what we're seeing. And um, I think these are going to be some great projectors that are going to last a long time. I have no idea what the prices are going to be yet. Obviously, I will do thorough reviews on all of these, depending on if I can get my hands on them. But thanks again. I'm trying something new here on the Dangen. Hit that like and subscribe below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, leave it in the comments below. Let's talk about these projectors. I'd be glad to, to start up some conversation, get some questions answered, and, uh, and find out when we're going to be able to get our hands on these. So thanks for joining me here at the Dangen, everybody, and I'll talk to you guys next time.